Howdy, everyone. My name is Nicholas, and welcome to the Headliner Pod Pod. We're a show about podcasts featuring podcasts by podcasters that's hosted by people who help podcasters with their podcasting. On each episode, a few of us folks over at Headliner sit down to play a game that centers around listening to randomly selected clips from over 500 episode submissions we've gotten from podcasters. Why? Well, in order to find what we call Pod Zero. Here are the rules. Each lucky contestant will hear a 60-second podcast clip. They'll then need to pick the correct podcast title out from a lineup of three choices before being shown the artwork for that show. Before we get this show on the road, though, let's say hi to each of our contestants for today, starting with Oliver. Hello, everybody. Next up, we've got Christy. Hello. And Jesse. Hello. And of course, we have Alyssa, who has a little ad read for us today. Hi, everybody. So Headliner got a snazzy new feature, create generated images and videos using simple text prompts. Create content that is new. Create content that is uniquely yours while saving time, energy and money with Headliner's latest creation tool. No camera required. Visit make.headliner.app. Click the advanced editor and select the media track line to create AI generated images and videos. All right, cool. Can't wait to jump in there and play around with that. So without further ado, let's just dive right into things. Oliver, would you like to kick the game off today? Sounds like a plan, Nicholas. My cool. eyes are closed, even if you can't tell. I I'll promise. take your word for it. I'm getting Texas Hold'em vibes from the sunglasses today. Like you're trying to hide a poker face. I'm trying to hide these. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I saw that it was up, but I didn't read. Don't worry. Okay. I mean, anyone who is has been married or in in a partnership yeah, yeah. and is like living life and doesn't have a family to take care of yet, um, right. or chooses not to, or and not to say there's not there are oh my gosh, I just opened up a can of worms. Let's like close that can of worms. But basically, I like can. I like can. Okay, right, right, right. But basically. For me, for me, I don't want to overassume for other people because there's lots of reasons people don't have children. But for me, when I didn't have them, I felt less highly sensitive. I didn't have as much sensory input. My environment was not as active. My career right. was not as active. Well, you so, have kids, you become more aware because now you have to do things, right? Like you gotta, like yes. And you're, 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 what is it? You're in a nail on the head. <laughs> well, and there's, a, there's actually a part of your brain that gets your amygdala, which is part of the limbic system and signals danger. Okay. I don't know where Wait, that what? was going with talk of the amygdala. I know. Right. I'm so curious because I love the word amygdala. I forgot what part of the brain it is already, but I like the word. Anyway, here are your choices for today, Oliver. Number one. Drop a jewel with Malacca. Number two, manifest happiness with Malacca. Or three, taking care of business with Malacca. Let's go with number three. Okay. Taking care of business with Malacca is yeah. incorrect. It was drop a jewel oh. with Malacca, which I, I'm curious I, how that factors in, but okay. I was going to pick that one, but then I thought it was some pop culture reference I wasn't aware of that Alyssa knew, so I didn't pick it. <clears throat> Honestly? Excellent. I, I get that. I, I would have thought if I were in your shoes, I would have thought it was like a Run the Jewels reference or something. But sure. Anyway, that was Drop a Jewel. And the episode we just listened to a clip from is titled Sensitivity and Survival. Here's our show description. Learn how to manifest and understand lessons and blessings through real talk discussion that comes with everyday life experiences and challenges. Topics include relationships, work, mental health, family, stress, diet, spirituality, wellness, and social justice issues. So there you have it. That's, that's all of them. That's all the topics in general. So cool stuff all around. And... Yeah, definitely curious about like where this was going. It sounds like a pretty interesting self-help podcast, I guess. Anyway, if anyone has any trivia or knows what the amygdala does. I, I do. know Alyssa does because she Googled it. 
I Googled it. It's the little bean in your brain that's like oh. above the hypothalamus, more central to the spinal cord. That's where it is. Interesting. You learn something new every day. Yeah. So moving on over to our next contestant, let's go with Christy. Let's go. I'm just going to close my eyes. Okay. Christy's looking like an anonymous source on Dateline right now. <laughs> I got the light behind me. <laughs> can we deep it? I don't know why I'm asking. I'm the make one who can more, do it. I'll deepen your voice in post. I'm going to just talk like this the rest of the time. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Cool. My eyes are closed. I'm ready to go. If I pitch that up, will it just be your normal voice again? We'll find I out soon. So. I think that, I think that's just how sound science works. <laughs> yeah. You just went okay. from deep fake to creep fake. <laughs> <laughs> nice nice all Slow right clap. let's go let's go if people who know you especially those closest to you didn't support you during the process they definitely don't deserve to be there to celebrate your success when this jealous family member said this to me i knew that there was no way that this person felt good about themselves. There was no way that this person was happy with themselves. And if someone is not happy with themselves, they don't want to see you happy. They don't want things to go well for you. And those are not people that you need to be around. And it's unfortunate that it was a family member that I have nothing to do with and I don't care to ever have anything to do with. But you have to pay attention to the people that are showing up for you, the people that genuinely support you and want to see you succeed. Okay. There was your clip, Christy. And here are your choices. Right. Number one, real talk with Q Alexander. Number two, keeping it real with QA. And it's real as in R-E-E-L, not R-E-A-L. Okay. Number three, Q and A with QA. Alyssa, you had a lot of fun with this. So I I'm, normally do. I, I know you do. It's to my detriment. And it's it's whenever we do this, whenever there's this moment where I I get these and it's just like, okay, so you're the villain of my life for this moment. I'm gonna go number two. Okay. Keeping it real with QA. Yes. is incorrect sorry that's okay it was real talk with q alexander okay but yeah these were really good names by the way Alyssa. Uh, i would have 100 percent fell for q and a with qa the last one was my it was going to be my second guess if i mm. just I always have to i was like okay cool i like those two the most but my first one was the number two with the r-e-e-l there's something about how you made sure to <laughs> to clarify that but i was like okay fun. cool there's something there Okay. I thought, like, if I made it more fishing focused, that it would. Uh, honestly, I thought it was a throwaway pick. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought, like, real as in, like, Instagram reels. I didn't even think fishing oh, yeah. for a second. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I, th I was just fishing. Never yeah. Th <laughs> but that's also just because I have Zoomer brain rot, apparently. I don't know. That's a me yeah. problem. Mm, okay. So. This was from the episode International Impact Book Awards winner. And our show description is, join me on my podcast full of honesty, some tough topics, inspiration, and positivity. I speak about real situations, mostly from my personal experiences. Always believe in yourself and stay true to who you are. No one can take that away from you. Podcast has given me a platform to use my voice by sharing my thoughts and experiences that will hopefully make a positive impact in the world. So... You learn something new every day. Also, I just appreciate that halfway through the description, it turned into like very life affirming, positive messages like you believe in yourself. By the way, the podcast is still about this, this and that. I, I just appreciate that. I need I need a little bit more of that in my life. So, yeah. Let's jump over to Jesse, shall we? <laughs> but this is completely off topic because we don't do that here. <laughs> so the security did. guard at my job has taken a shining to me. But he he's like really 
awkward about things. He's he's nice, yeah. but he doesn't know how to start or end conversations. So I was oh, sitting no. there working, and he just pops in into the, the the room, man, and he's like, "Have you seen Pacific Rim one and two? I was like, "No, hello or anything." Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like that. And he was like, okay. And then just walks off. And then like five minutes later, he shows me a picture of a bee. And he's like, what kind of bee is this? I was like, dude, what is going on? <laughs> oh. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> you know what? I he, think would be he keeps, great. He keeps showing me pictures of his backyard. All right. I hope you're listening close, Jesse, because there were a lot of hints in there. There, there really weren't, but let's just pretend there were. Okay, cool. So here are your choices. Number one, just dad things. Number two, dad in it. Number three, as dad as it gets. I think it's as dad as it gets, because it is indeed as dad as it gets. Okay. Wow. I'm shocked you got that one. Was there a hint in there that I just didn't like that I missed? It's that the answer is always in the clip, Nicholas. You just have to know where to find it. I don't know where to find URL. it, but it's somewhere in there. <laughs> okay. Well, good on you. Yeah, it was as dad as it gets. Love the podcast art. It's like, I don't even know what it is. It's just like spray paint. It kind of looks like a Daft Punk cover to me. I don't know. Just a little bit. But yeah, cool stuff. And this was from the episode to compete or not to compete. And our show description is the podcast for dads by dads. Follow us each week as we navigate the ins and outs of parenthood. So there you go. Neat stuff all around. All right. I interpret so, this oh. as chalk art, by the way, that a child did. Just. I, I could see that. Yeah. That makes yeah. a lot more sense than the cover to a Daft Punk album from the 90s. But it could be too. Who knows? It could be. Maybe. Daft Punk is it's entering the dad band territory, I think. They've been around for long enough. Who's to say? They've gone around the world, comma, around the world. Anyone? Okay. No Daft Punk fans in the house. So anyway, let's have everybody team up now for not one, but two clips, shall we? I know we're just all bursting with excitement to do that. So let's just jump over and do it. It is a really, it's very easy to send like an email blast, right? Or a text. That's not a high labor cost. Canvassing is a lot of work. It's a high labor cost. But hands down, it is the best way to get people involved in politics, to get them out to the polls. So what does that mean for the convention system? So let's think about, let's go pick on the attorney general, if that's okay. So at the convention, Derek Brown did not come out of convention. In fact, he was in third place and they bounced him. And part of the reason when I would ask people, because I was like, Derek Brown used to be the GOP party chair. Like, why would he not be a choice out of convention. And the answer was there's a litmus test that if you gather signatures, convention delegates are mad at you and they're never going to pick you. So Derek Brown might be a good test case for this. He had a Mike Lee endorsement. He's clearly a Republican. Okay. That was a heck of a cliffhanger. Here are your choices, everybody. Number one, Utah Nilaterism pod. Number two, State Street. And number three, Utah in action. I like State Street just because they're kind, of talk, they're kind of talking about state, like, like, you know, State of the Union, all that stuff that kind of makes sense. Okay. Anyone else? Any objections? No objection for me. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that because it means I don't have to say Utah nihilatorism again, which is a it tongue twister. Supposed to be Utilitarianism. Okay, well, I I was on the philosophy train of thought. That's on me. I thought of Nihilism. So that would. So that's not right. So she was trying to play. So we. So so she just. Yeah, gave no, away. you you guys got it right. If in case that wasn't clear, it was State Street. <laughs> okay, cool. We're gonna need to have like a key where you just write out the puns for me sometimes because sight reading is not a strong suit of mine. No. It was me. It was my fault. <laughs> this was me do it trying last anyways. Dude, that you talk no, I see the pun. That's I see so... the pun. Dude, you're too good at this. Alyssa, <laughs> god damn. That's pretty good. All right. You were so... hell to kill us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that 
that's extreme, but all right. That's a pretty big jump for had a pretty good philosophy pun, Christy. (laughs) No, dude, no, no, dude. She always gets me. I get it wrong every time. (laughs) Skill issue. (laughs) Yeah. I'm kidding. Okay, so this is from the episode. It turns out Utah just isn't into that MAGA. Oh, sorry. It turns out Utah just isn't that into MAGA. And the description is, this is the place where Utah politics tastes good, where the stories are covered in fry sauce and you can boost your civic IQ without all the campaigning, cajoling, and crosstalk. This is politics the Utah way. So there you go. Interesting stuff. I really like the artwork for it and just neat stuff. I'm not plugged into Utah politics. Why would I be? I'm from New Jersey. But if I ever do want to become plugged in, I'm probably going to check this show out. So, all right, let's see if you guys can get the last one now. If everyone will cover their eyes one more time. I remember getting like hundreds of requests a day and just like accepting every single person because like, I didn't know there was a maximum of friends you could have on Facebook. And I still check my Facebook and maybe I'm just my age, but I'm like to communicate with like my cousins and my older relatives. Like that's the way that like you can keep your extended family in the know of what you're up to. Yeah, um, but I'm sure Facebook will be extinct at some point in the next like 15, 20 years. Oh, but, absolutely, you know. absolutely. Now, curious minds want to know what song and how your profile looked on your MySpace back in the day. Like, spill it to me. I think I had like the fake glasses like you don't really need them but they make you feel intelligent but also cool so i had, like the fake glasses super <laughs> tan like maybe a little corner nip slip just you know for shock value all right so on that note here were your choices number one left of straight podcasts and that's str the number eight a little bit elite speak second one is Hot to G pod. And number three is Good Luck Babe podcast. What's the name of the first one again? Left of Straight podcast. All right, hold on. It's Left of Straight. Why? Do you just Google the show and get the page? Um, <laughs> no, I was, was going to say I'm just, that I'm that just a Chappelle Roan fan. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the last oh, one was a different right. giveaway. Come on, somebody. <laughs> that's why. That's why I paused before I read it. I was like, "Really, really, Alyssa? <laughs> give it, give it up. Pick was... that one. Make Alyssa happy." There's two, Oliver. There's two. Yeah, it's definitely the first one. Yes, I yes. think it's it's safe to say from that it was Left of Straight podcast. Good on you. I just and... had to check to see if Left of Straight was a song I didn't know from her. Because if it was, <laughs> it should then be. I was screwed. Like it was a B-side or something. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, because so she's was... not straight, so it's like this thing. So it's like, that's ex- that t- sounds like exactly like a song she would have. It really does. That's the best part about it. Is that why you went with the other names, Alyssa? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Fair <laughs> the enough. disappointed Alyssa sound. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This was from the episode Jordan Dow brings the scary in new film. And the description is welcome to the left of straight show LGBT talk radio from a slightly different angle. Join host Scott Fullerton as he interviews celebrities, personalities and advocates from entertainment, foodies, books and organizations from the LGBT community and our allies. So there you have it. Cool stuff. And yeah, it absolutely does sound like a song just waiting to happen it'll be on the next album for all we know and we can say we heard it first yeah down to the spelling so yeah very cool stuff all around and thank you to everyone for playing today and thanks to everyone for listening so we'll catch you in a few weeks and we'll try to have a bunch of harder ones that aren't just song titles from massively popular artists who are blowing up right now it Alyssa's face is making me think we'll do the opposite of that we'll find out we'll figure it out